Hello everyone, I'm Wilson, welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how you can set always on display on your Android device. For this tutorial, I'll be using my Samsung Galaxy X10 Plus, but you can follow the steps on any other Android device. So without further ado, let's dive into it. To set always on display, let's go to the settings. Mine is right here, tap there. Now inside settings, scroll down until you find lock screen tap there and then right here at the top you will see we have the option to set always on display you can see here that mine is on and it is set from 9 p.m. to 8 o'clock in the morning next day if this is your first time you might have this option off and to set it on you just have to tap there and you will set that option on so let's tap here so we can see the settings related to the always on display now here we have all the options related to always on display. You can also right here from the top, set the option off if you tap there or tap again to set the option on. Right below you have three main options. Tap to show, show always, show has schedule. Mine is right here on the last option, show has schedule. And as I said before, mine is set from 9 p.m. to 8 o'clock in the morning the next day. So during this time, I have my always on display on and I don't have to unlock my phone to see the time or some notifications. So let me start explaining from the first option. The first option that we have here is tap to show. Tap there. Once you tap there, you select that option. In this case, if your screen is off, you just have to tap to show the notifications. Let me show you. I'm gonna close my screen, lock my phone and close my screen. To show your notification, you just have to tap it one time, like this, and it will show you the time. In this case, mine is set to show just the time. The other option you have below tap to show is show always. If you select this option, every time your screen turns off, your always on display will be on. It will show you the time and any other notification that you select to show it. Let me show you. For example, in this case, if I close and turn off the screen, you will see that automatically the always on display shows up. And in this case for me, it is set to set the time, the day of the week and the date. The last option you have is show has schedule. Tap there. This is what I currently have on my phone. Right here, you can see that you can set a schedule to show your always on display. If you tap there, you can set the start and you can set the end. Mine, it is set to start at 9 p.m. or 2100 and end at 8 o'clock the next day in the morning. To set the time, you just have to swipe up on down to select the time that you want to set to start and then tap here on the end. Do the same thing to select the time that you want it to end and even on this side, you can select the minutes. Mine is set to exactly 8 o'clock. If you're okay with our settings, just tap done. In this case, the always on display will start at 9 p.m. and end at 8 o'clock in the morning the next day. The last option we have is show for new notification. In my case, that option is off. It is off because my always on display is set to always show just the time and the date, nothing more. If you want to enable this option, what you have to do is go back, just tap there, right here inside lock screen, scroll down until you find notifications and you can see here that I have my notifications option set off. So what I'm going to do here is set this option on. So I'm going to tap there to set that option on. Then let's scroll up, tap here on always on display and you can see here that show for new notification is enabled. So what we can do is select here. This way, your always on display will turn on every time you get a new notification. Now, let's go back to show a schedule. To do that, just tap there. Because I don't like to be bombarded with notifications, I'm gonna go back here and then scroll down to notification and then turn this option off. Let's go back again to always on display. If you scroll down, you have down here more options. 
For example, you have the option to select the clock style. If you tap there, right here, you can see you have a few options of the clock that you can select to show on your always on display. Mine is set to this one, but you can also select this one or this one, whatever you want. So your always on display becomes more personal to you. On this side, you have the option to select the image clock. And right here, you have the option to select an image just below your clock. As you can see from this example here, you can select an image from stickers, Bitmoji, gallery, whatever you have stored your images. In my case, I like my designs simple. In this case, I'm gonna pick here to select clock and I'm going to select this style. Right here below, you also have the option to select the color of your clock. For example, if I tap here, you will see that the color changes to blue or you can choose this one here it will change to pink i believe this is pink yeah but in my case i like white so i'm gonna tap here to white and then once you've done with all of this just click done and you are all set right here you have the option to select show music information in this case if you have a music playing on your phone if you set this option on just the way it is here it will show you the music that is playing on your device if you don't want, you just have to do is tap there to set that option off or tap again to set that option on. Below you have screen orientation. If you tap there, you can see that you have the option to set portrait or landscape. In my case, mine is set portrait. That's because my phone is most of the time on portrait. But you also have the option to select landscape. If you select landscape, just in this case, tap there, let's go up. Let's go and tap and show always. If I close it, you will see that your always on display will be displayed on a landscape format. Let's go back and set this option to portrait. Then below you have the option to select auto brightness. Lastly, you have the option to opt for up to brightness or not. In my case, it is set on. This is good because the always on display screen will adjust the brightness depending on your environment. So I have mine set on. If you don't want, you just have to tap there to set that option off. But in this case, I like to set that on. So it will adjust automatically based on the lights of the environment. Well everyone, this is how you set always on display on your Android device. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it to a friend and leave a comment. YouTube loves when you engage with the video. It helps the channel to grow. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.